Anyways, here comes our new car. Oh, 60. That is right in the middle. That's three points better than our other one. So it says, not a bad car. There are worse things you can do to your fam... Wait, what? There are worse things you could do to your family than buy this. Like, kill them all. Okay, well, that's... That's kind of wrong, but okay, fine. Hello, YouTube Moto Gaming here, bringing you guys my first impressions of Epic Car Factory. This is a business simulation where you can build, market, hire, fire, and basically run, you guessed it, a car factory. Uh, this is a pretty cool concept of a game. It does remind me a bit of some mobile games like uh, Grand Prix Story, I think was one of them, Game Dev Story. It's kind of similar to that style. Uh, this could be cool though. Uh, you guys seem to like car things, so we're going to try this out here today. Now, if you want to see more of this on the channel, comment below and maybe hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to try this game out for yourself, it's going to be linked down in the description. If you buy it now, you get into the beta and the uh, full release is coming soon, I believe. So yeah, let's go in and let's drive a company into the ground. All right, so here is our factory here. Now the secretary is going to yap her head off, but I've already done this once. <laughs> and I must say, I ran the, uh, the company into the ground in a matter of about 30 minutes, so... We're hoping for a little bit more today. So what we're going to be doing, you can see the factory. You've got the chassis, engine, the tires, and the body here. Uh, you start down, you kind of select what kind of chassis you want to use, and you go through the whole process and develop a car with the hopes that it rates really good and it goes out and sells. Uh, there's different factors that determine that. I think your popularity, uh, how good the car actually is. So we're going to start off really small here. So to develop a car, we'll go to right click, we'll go production, uh, you can see the different things. You can buy like new models or new bodies of cars, which there's none available at the moment. But we'll go production, develop, uh, she's going to continue to talk, uh, I'll kind of try to explain this to you guys. So we start off here at the chassis, the only thing we have right now researched is wood. So yes, we are building a wood car, that does not sound safe. Uh, we'll go into our motor, which is the V1. Uh, each item has different stats. You'll see like mileage, looks, speed, and comfort. So we've got to go with that. Got to go with pneumatic tires. But we can actually uh, select what type of car body we want. Now you're going to notice the names. Um, the 4TT is totally not the Ford Model T. The Hardbred CV, I don't know what that's supposed to be. Is that supposed to be modeled after something real? And then you have the Mermades, which is totally not Mercedes. Hmm, what are we going to go with? Uh, we're going to have a, a good looking car here. The Mercedes actually has the highest, actually the Ford has some of the highest uh, ratings here for looks and comfort. So let's go with the Ford Model T. So we've got that. Now we have to develop a strategy. This will give you like a little boost uh, in one particular category, which I think we're going to go. It's our first car. It's got to look good. So let's go for looks. Uh, you could focus on research, and that'll give you some extra points to uh, research new items later on in the game. Uh, let's see. Pricing strategy. This is where you need to watch out. I think this is where I bit myself last time. Now, you can uh, develop the car. This is all about how long it takes to develop, and it's uh, sales efficiency. So, the medium is like middle of the road. I guess it sells okay, but it doesn't take too long. You've got the low price, which we can produce the car really quick. I think it dings its rating, but it sells for cheaper, I think. Uh, and then you got the high price. I don't think we want to do that right now. Let's just go medium. Let's go middle of the road here. So we got a little summary here. Should take 32 weeks. The development cost is going to cost us 200 k which we have a million right now. And the production cost, I think, per car is going to be 4000 So I don't know what the profit margin is there. But anyways, we got our two mechanics here. You can hire and fire people as you please. It's kind of expensive to do, so we're probably not going to do, the, do that this episode. But I don't even know if we're going to have any more episodes after that. Depends on if you guys want to see more of this. But anyways, uh, we need to go ahead and boost the chassis. So let's look at our guys here. Let's see. he's uh, Chassis is going to be under comfort. Seems like Adam Blindside's got that cover. So he's going to boost this up a little bit. Give some extra stats there. Cool. So we're starting off there. You can see your work progress down here, kind of what's going on. There is a extra little icon here. It's defects. That's just at the end of the uh, the production. They'll have to go in, and it takes longer time, and they'll have to work out, I guess, the kinks of the car. So anyways, they're working on that. 
there's nothing else we can really do right now. We gotta let them do that, so we're actually gonna speed up some time here. Uh, let's see, game saved. All right, here comes the engine. We're gonna get a boosting of that. Now, engine's gonna be under, I think, mileage and speed. So it looks like Mr. Lee Iron Hand is better at engine, so we'll go ahead and let him boost that. Tune it up, try to make it fast. I don't know, what was the top speed on a Model T? I couldn't imagine it being no more than about like 40 miles an hour. Um, I could be completely wrong about that, but I just don't picture it being very fast. Maybe if you're going downhill, it's a little bit faster. But anyways, they're going to move to that. They're moving to tires here. We'll get the same little message about boosting tires. Let's go ahead and speed this up even more. Uh, let's see. That's going to be all about the, I think it's fuel efficiency, which I only have one guy here right now. The other one, other guy's on brake, so Mr. Lee Ironhand has to do this. So there he goes. He's got a pretty good comfort rating, and looks rating, I think, is pretty high on this, so... Here comes the most important part to me, though, the body. Here comes the body of the car. So, we got both our guys here. Body-wise, we need our looks guy, which is going to be Adam Blindside. He's going to start working on that, boost that up a little bit. I'd like it to see a lot higher rating here for the looks. I'm a little concerned, but let's see what happens once they finish it. So, so yeah, they're going to work on that and finish this car up. All right, they are working out the kinks. We just paid the employee salary, which for the year was 289k. So we're down to 511. Now, just like you guessed, uh, if you've played any games like this, there is a whole marketing aspect to this. We can always advertise. I don't think we're gonna do that yet. Uh, there's other ways to get your name out there. There's like races you can enter in. Uh, like endurance events and just like even like I think small races. I don't know. I've only ran into a couple Everything kind of seems like it's at random. So we'll see if we run into any of that and there goes our car All right, so she's talking about we developed our first car here come the reviews folks uh, Am I gonna be sad by looking at this? 57 a 57 out of 120 that's almost a 50% I must say for the first car Maybe that's okay. I found nothing offensive about this vehicle. That is a that's a glowing review. So, anyways, click that. Boom. Uh, we'll see in the uh, the top right corner here. There goes our weekly sales. So there we go. We're selling, I guess, three cars a week at a profit of 7k. So that's good. And oh look, the yearly car awards are coming. If you want to participate. You'll have to choose cars for the categories you want to win. Keep that in mind. Uh, yeah, this all cost money. So each category, which, what were we good in? I think ours, was it comfort? You know, maybe we should put it in luxury. So, you know, we're going to just enter this in. Sure, we're not going to win, but maybe this will help with our popularity. So we're going to enter in our model we just had in the luxury category. So it should be good to go there. Uh, for sure we're not going to be in the car of the year so let's try this boom that's going to happen we're getting sales up here now in between building cars you just don't want to start spamming car after car uh, they can actually take some contract work to make some spare cash so we're going to let them uh, stay busy here do some contract work i do think you get research points off of that so we'll be able to research new things uh, here very soon so they're going to go ahead and do that I'm gonna speed up time here, and we'll see what happens when those rewards, uh, or the awards ceremony comes by. Alright, so the awards show has finished. Let's see how we did. Best in luxury. We had an honorable mention. Five out of seven would ride again. But, in turn, look, we got four fans. So that 25,000, I know four fans does not sound like a lot, but in the long run, I really do think it helps you. So... Hopefully, we'll keep selling here. We'll get our contract work done. Uh, can we buy anything right now? Let's see. Let's go to production. We can buy a new model, which is a Doyle Doyce. I'm assuming that's supposed to be a Royals Royce, I believe. Hmm. That's tempting. That's a new car. Wouldn't that be hot on the market? Look at the comfort on that. 26 starting. Yeah. You know what? We're going to buy that. That will be the next car we produce. Uh, also, you can do some other stuff. Uh, research is one thing, Han. They're still finishing up the contract. There we go, 50k, baby. All right, so we got that. Uh, you can go in here. They can research. I don't think there's anything in the early game to do. Uh, you'll start seeing stuff pop up like new engines, new chassis, stuff like that to research. Uh, let's check something else here. Let's see, we can go to tune. Uh, tuning, we can make certain car parts better, which is uses uh, our experience points up here. Uh, let's see, we're about to do the Doyle's Doyce. So let's go ahead 
get up there and try to tune on that body before we actually build it. That way, once we actually do develop the car, it'll hopefully have a little bit better stats. So they're going to go ahead and do that. And we're going to speed up some time here. All right, folks, I think it's time to push out another car here. So we're going to go with car number two. Let's go ahead and develop. We're still getting sales off our first car. It's still three per week at 6K. That's okay. I guess we'll be okay. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Let's go ahead and go into here. It's going to be basically the same car, except for the body is going to be different uh, than our first one. And we're going to use the Doyle Joyce, which has inherently has better stats. It does cost 10000 more, though, to develop. So... We'll do that. What do we want to focus on? Actually, what are the strong suits of this car? It's comforts pretty high to begin with, and its looks are okay. Mileage, okay. It's kind of lacking in speed. Hmm. You know what? Let's keep going for the looks category here. Let's go for that. And to me, this is a luxurious car. Should we try for the high price? It will do take longer to develop, and the sales will be less, but the higher unit price is what we're hoping for you know i think that might have bit me we're going to continue to do the medium for now and we'll see what we develop here all right they're still working on that we got a new research item we have the v1 the economy motor which i think that would be probably something good to look into uh kind of get some fuel efficiency boost all right so what we got to boost the body here body wise we want mr blindside working on that now, if you're asking about the employees and how to hire them, you have to actually spend quite a bit of money to research employees. And right now, we just don't have that. So we're not going to worry about that yet. We're going to stick with our two dudes right here. Hope they continue to do uh, a good job. And actually, the... Ooh, is that the registration for the end of the year car? Ooh, yeah. Do we want to enter? Actually, I kind of... I need to wait. I would like to enter in our car now, but I don't know if we have time to do that. Can we enter in our old car? Oh, this costs more money this year. Ooh. You know, I guess this is going to be worth the price. Let's go ahead and stick our old car back in there. It's still eligible because it's going to be within two years. Uh, just want, really want the fans from that. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, another thing that we're about to do here, we need to advertise. I want to get the word out that we have a new car coming out and hopefully this will help us. So what we're going to do here, we're going to go to production. Actually, not production. It's going to be actions. There we go. So you got advertise, market research, and items. Items are when a merchant comes by and you can get little boost items for the car uh, development. Marketing, I haven't quite figured that out. I know it's expensive. Uh, yeah, you can... What is this? I think you can target certain, like a target audience or qualities. So you'll get better research. But I think in the end, it'll actually... It'll change the car's qualities, and you'll be able to actually... Oh, we got no reward for the uh, car show, by the way. Ooh. I don't think that was actually worth the money, but anyways. Uh, what we want to do now, before we do anything else, is go ahead and advertise. This is actually kind of funny. So you can tell your friends, or you can do a flyer ad. To tell your friends, it cost $100,000 to tell your friends, like, Hey, look, we have a new car coming. I kind of want to do the flyer ad, because that... It's, ooh, it's 80K more, but would that be worth it? You get five additional weeks. I wonder if that would actually boost us that good. You know, let's do tell friends. <laughs> that 80K, I gotta have that. So let's go ahead and do that. She's gonna do the advertisement, and we'll see what comes of it. And we're about to release our cars, so we'll be good to go here. Ah, look at this, folks. We have a race that we can enter. It's called the Grand Meander. It's a race that puts to test the fuel economy of the cars. Uh, racing over a scorching desert. Okay, that does not sound good, but this should be good for uh, exposure. So, you know what? We're going to enter in our car, which we can only enter in our Model T since our other one's just now rolling off the uh, factory here. So, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we can get a little boost for some money. We can boost our stats a little bit. So let's go ahead and go with maximum boost. So this is 54K we got to spend here. So let's go boom. All right. They're going to send the car out. Hopefully we might place in the race or finish it. I, I just want to finish it. I'll be happy with that. So anyways, here comes our new car. Oh, 60. That is right in the middle. That's three points better than our other one. So it says not a bad car. There are worse things you can do to your fan. Wait, what? There are worse things you could do to your family than buy this, like kill them all. Okay, well that's that's kind of wrong, but okay, fine. Let's see how it sells. Here we go. Weekly sales are about to start 
pushing through, making 16k a week. That's actually pretty good. And hey, look, the race has ended, and we finished in fifth. That should gain us some fans, right? Uh, wow, I certainly didn't expect that our car would take that place. Our company is now even more popular. We've gained two more fans. Oh, yeah. All right, so what we can do now while we're waiting, uh, we're going to go and jump into the research here. We've got the uh, the V1 economy engine. Uh, so it uses less gas. It's an instant boost on your... Uh, I wonder if it affects the speed any. Maybe it's just the mileage that it affects. That's probably something we should definitely research. So... They're going to get to work there. We're actually going to do a little bit more contract work before we develop our next vehicle. I'm going to let the uh, the time kind of go through and maybe we'll have some more things that we can research. Because investing, like I said, in too many vehicles early can really put you uh, in a bad situation financially. So, anyways, we're going to do some contract work. Alright, so one more fun thing that we can check here. This is the, uh, it shows all the companies and kind of how they're selling their vehicles right now. Uh, it's kind of funny to see some of these names like BWM. It's totally not BMW. Uh, what else we have? The Chrysler. Uh, the Forte. Let's see. The Foxtrotter. Uh, we're down here at Trash Motors. Uh, we've sold 195 units. Which, yes, we're pretty far behind the next person up. But Trash Motors, it's doing it right now. I know you're probably asking, why is it called Trash Motors? Because my last company, Komodo Gaming, uh, I ran that one into the ground like I was saying. So, anyways, I think we are ready. We're still making a decent profit here. Uh, is there any new things that we can buy model-wise? Uh, the Refault A? That looks like a race car. It looks like a, I guess it's a Renault. Ah, uh, you know what? We're going to buy this. Latest and greatest body. Let's go ahead and buy that. And, yeah, I think it's probably time. We can afford, yeah, we can definitely afford to uh, produce or develop another one. So, let's go ahead and, oh, actually, do we want to do some tuning first? Maybe do some boosting to begin with. Actually, we can't afford any of this because of the research points. Hmm. All right, so let's just go ahead and go straight into develop the car. It's going to be made out of wood. Uh, we can use our new economy motor, which, hmm, it does affect it a little bit on the speed level and comfort level, but I think the body makes up for the speed loss here. So let's go with that. Pneumatic tires. We're going to do the, do the new body here. So we'll do that, and we'll focus on, actually, what is its strong suits? It's actually a well-rounded car, but I think we're going to go with the looks here. So let's keep with the looks, and we'll keep with the medium price here. So they're going to get to work on that, start developing a car. We're still making 11 k a week, which is actually pretty good. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with our progress so far. I still need to pay attention, at which I really wish uh, they would actually, uh, these little messages that pop up, sometimes they go by really quick and I miss them. And, yeah, you can miss out on some really good opportunities as far as races and awards, which is you need to do them no matter what because that's where you're going to gain your fans from and you'll gain your sales that way. Ah, here we go. We actually got a uh, another one of these reward shows. These are getting more expensive every year they come by. Uh, which category do we want to enter in? I'm thinking luxury. We were really our uh, latest car. Yeah, that was pretty high in looks. And comfort's not too bad. Let's go ahead and enter it in. 36000 Do that. We'll see where we place here. Still making money. We're still good. This is definitely better than my last playthrough, so I'm fairly happy at the moment. Ah, look at this. The award show. Let's see how we did. Ooh, third place. That's uh, that's actually pretty good. 13 fans. Uh, let's see. Well, actually, it's seven fans. We have 13 total now. So maybe that'll uh, kind of get the hype around our next car coming out. And it'll sell decent, so... Alright, so we're almost through with this car. I would say it looks, from the stats, it's looking pretty on par with our other cars. So I'm hoping for right around that mid-range rating. Uh, that way we can boost some sales here. You know, we're actually going to probably... What month is it? Yeah, we're going to take out some advertisement for this. Let's go ahead, try to boost here. Do we want to try the other advertisement? Actually, we're about to pay our staff. I don't want to put us in the red, so... Let's go ahead and just advertise here. Let's go ahead and do the tell friends again. Kind of get it out there. We've got a new car coming out. we got more fans now, so hopefully the profit margins are going to be a little bit higher. And ooh! Ooh, that's not good. 37. That actually... Man, that hurts. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there is nothing I liked about this vehicle. Nothing. Well, poo. Let's hope that we can make up for it in sales here. So here comes our sales numbers, 14K. Uh, not quite as strong. Okay, 15K, it's bumped up a little bit. 
16k, not bad per week. All right, we might be able to save this here. So maybe we can get another race or something. Maybe get some more uh, more hype around it. Actually, our reports are back in. Are we uh, still at the bottom? Still at the bottom by a wide margin, but yeah, we're just not producing that many cars right now. Uh, we might jump in. Do we have any uh, contract work we can do? No, no contract work. What about research here? Uh, none of that either. Yeah, we're kind of in a little bit of a slow period here, so... Guess we're gonna let this set for a little bit and we'll move on to the next thing. Uh, I'm trying to think of our next move though. We're in a little bit of a bind here. It would be nice if we would get another contract or something. Uh, maybe we need to go ahead and move in and we'll probably develop another car here. The only thing I'm a little worried about is the whole effect of, uh, yeah, our, uh, it's not gonna be a great car, I don't think. I think we need to just kind of push out a cheap one. So we'll probably do the uh, Mermades, uh, something a little bit cheaper something that we haven't done yet and then we'll kind of focus on research so this is gonna be like a throwaway car right now uh, try to get it out of it real cheap uh, we'll do the low price and just try to get some sales out of it and just get it to where we get the research points we can start doing or building better cars after this oh no well we got a random event here there was a fire boss our car was involved now don't freak out but we might lose a few of our diehard fans really uh, <laughs> Really? <laughs> to this horrible fire death beheading. Did I mention that the guy got beheaded? Well, he did. Really? While that hurt, we lost six fans there. Right when we were going to release our, our dump car. Oh, boy. Oh, look at me. He got a 13. <laughs> this is why the auto industry is falling apart. That uh, really was expected with this car. It was a cheap car, really, just to get some research points here. Now, what we're going to do here, we got another contract we're going to immediately jump into. And, ooh, if we complete that, that is 100k. That would be nice. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Try to get some more points here. I'd like to have those steel chassis soon. Uh, so let's hope that we can uh, make something happen here. Come on. Come on, contract. Do we get it? Do we get it? Oh, we failed it. Oh, boy. This is where it might start falling apart, folks. So uh, we got four cars down here. This is... Uh, it's not good right now. All right, so another award show has finished. And as a joke, I entered in our crappy car and I didn't even say anything about it. And it got first place in best in design. What? Okay, is this game broken? I don't... Uh, okay, all right, 12 new fans. Um, that makes no sense to me. We just actually won one of the awards. Okay. Sure, that's perfectly okay. All right, let's see. What do we got here? Do we have anything new we can buy? Ooh, look at that thing. That is a gorgeous car. We're going to buy that. Okay, we're going to buy that body real quick. I, I was wanting to be able to research the still body, but it does not look like that's going to happen. So we need to actually tune up on our... Uh, unfortunately, we're going to have to tune up on our wood body. Uh, we just are not gaining the research fast enough, and I cannot keep releasing dump cars. Like, it's not selling good right now, and I think it overall just hurts uh, to develop and then turn around and sell it and barely make any sort of profit. So, uh, we're going to try this. Uh, let's go ahead and tune this wood up real quick, see if we can get something decent going here. Uh, we're going to be paying some salaries here very soon. We're, I don't know if we're going to have enough money to pay salaries. Oh, boy. All right, let's go ahead and start production here. Uh, maybe we can get a loan from the bank or something. Let's go ahead and go there. Let's go with the V1. I should probably be spending more money doing some research here. I'm tempted to go in and let's try to, let's go ahead and tune up the engine real quick. Let's go ahead and get that V1. We'll stick the standard one in there. We'll tune it up and then we'll develop the car. It's gonna be kind of like a last ditch, let's hope this works effort. All right, we're ready to develop a car. We got our wood chassis, which hopefully, uh, I would say it's the last time we're gonna use it, but I doubt it's gonna be. Got a little bit of an upgraded V1 engine, pneumatic tires. We've got the latest and greatest body down here, which actually has really good stats on it, pretty much for everything. So we're going to focus, we're going to go really heavy on comfort here for this car, because this looks like a luxurious uh, several-seater car. So let's go boom. And we'll keep it down the middle of the road there. So they're going to start developing that. I'm hoping we'll be able to pay uh, staff wages by the end of the year. I think we're making enough right now that we'll clear it. We just gotta hope that this car does good. If the car doesn't do good, it, it could be kind of questionable whether or not we uh, we come out of this in one piece. 
amazing news, boss. There was this witch, and she decided to break the laws of reality so that the combustion works easier. Really? Basically, engines will be super cheap to produce until reality snaps. Oh. Yeah, it comes snaps back and slaps her in the rear end. We'll just call it that. So, anyways, engine development cost is negative 40%, so I'm okay with that. That's going to be cheaper for us. I uh, kind of wish that would have happened right before we started development on this car, but okay, I guess not. Uh, that'll be fine. All right, so we're almost through with this new car. We're now boosting the body right now, and we're about to see what the sales are because right now we're not making enough money, admittedly. Uh, but hopefully this car is going to be that push we need. Uh, we're actually we're going to push on advertisement. We're going to go all out. We're going to go with that 180k advertisement. Uh, let's wait till this car is basically ready to leave the line. Uh, oh, actually, the car awards are up. Uh, you know, this worked last time somehow with a crappy car, so let's go best in design and enter that in real quick. And, oh, look at that. No award. Yay. <laughs> uh, why does that... That almost seems like random. Like, we entered a crappy car last time and got first place, but I don't know. I'll have to check that. Anyways, they're almost through with the car here. Let's go one more defect, and it should be rolling off. All right, it's rolling off. Let's go ahead and go... Uh, staff, let's go, uh, advertise, let's go, uh, flyer ad, boom, hopefully this works. Oh, there's a race available, too. Um, can we get inside this race? I'd like to be in the race, too, let's see. Uh, what the, what race is this? The show floor, this is a rarely held event and is by invitation only. Oh, this is for best looking cars. Huh. You know, I kind of, our new car actually looks pretty good. Is it on the, come on. Oh, really? It got a 28. I can't believe humans worked on this. <laughs> I at first thought it was a junker a few decades old. All right, thank you. Um, all right, so we got that on. We got the car out. Let's go ahead. Can we enter in that race with the car? Let's go with the newest car. Boom. Uh, let's go ahead and boost the, ooh, I can't even afford to enter the race. Oh, boy. No, we're not going to be entering the race anytime soon. All right. Well, let's see what sales do. Actually, sales are decent. If the registration's open uh, now, let's go ahead and see if we can enter that race. Uh, this is going to be like a last-ditch effort here to try to get some hype around this car. So let's go by 5%. Boom. Car's going to go out and race. And we're making 14, 13K right now, which isn't terrible, but isn't great. Uh, I'm trying to figure out really what we're doing wrong here. And, hey, look, we uh, placed ninth place. I don't know how, out of how many, but that ought to be a boost for a little bit. I don't know. I got some contract work. Let's go ahead and get them working on that. All right, I got a new event here. It says, we've peppered the city with flyers from our company. It wasn't good for the environment, but it sure did help with some sales. All right. You know, it's weird when they say events like that, I actually never really see a boost in sales like they say they're going to. And... Ooh, we finished that contract, 200k. Boy, that might actually keep the company alive a little bit longer. Yay! And oh, look, here comes the merchant. This is something I don't think I've showed you guys yet. Uh, these are little items that you can buy to help boost the car's, uh, I guess, stats. It really is very expensive, though. Like, you have to be making some bank in order to uh, really get into that, so we're going to ignore that for now. Anyways, I think this is probably a good wrap-up point here. Uh, yeah, we're gonna wrap it up here. We're getting 10k in sales. Uh, we really need to start researching. The only bad thing is that everything costs so much points-wise to research that I think we're kind of stuck tuning right now. I uh, would like to eventually get new employees, but I don't know. We'll have to see about that. But yeah, that's gonna about wrap it up this episode of Epic Car Factory. I just wanna give you guys my first impressions. Pretty cool game. It is a little tough. Yeah, you gotta kind of be into that micromanaging type game. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little episode of this. If you do want to see more of it, comment down below. But yeah, hope you guys have a great day, and we will see you guys next time. Thank you.